This is a very quick tour of Grammarly.com. Once you go to the site, if you've been there for the first time, you'll see the Add to Chrome It's Free button. Click on it and then give permission to add that extension to your Chrome browser. And Chrome is the only browser it works with for free. On this screen, you're being shown where the Grammarly logo will be located on your screen. Keep in mind that Grammarly will only work with certain sites in this free version. Okay, let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to open up a Gmail account, CompTaylor, and to compose an email with it. Click on Compose. And get the address set up as well as the subject. And let's expand it so we can see it here. Notice in the bottom right the Grammarly icon is keeping count of the number of mistakes that I make as I type. To correct them, I click on the highlighted mistake and it corrects automatically. Unless it's something a little more involved that Grammarly wants to talk to me about, in which case I have to log in in order to correct it. Now, once those mistakes are corrected, I'm now in the Grammarly Composing window. I finish composing my email. And to put those changes in, I click on the Gmail icon. I'll go back to my Gmail. But Grammarly is still working. You see it is still keeping count of the errors. But notice that it does not catch certain errors. So it does a good job with some of the more obvious stuff in the free version to get the high version, the premium version, it's $30 a month.